You ever create an Excel formula where you select a range of data that includes perhaps a few empty rows, anticipating that this list will increase in size? Well, when you do that, you end up with zeros or errors or what some additional data that you don't need until somebody enters data into those empty cells. Well, today, in steps the dot operator to trim out the empty cells within a range until somebody enters the data in that range. Let's check it out. For our first example, we're gonna create a simple formula utilizing the dot operator to help us multiply a couple of values. Here, I'm currently looking at the example file, excel.reference-01. Make sure you download this file. You'll find a link to it in the video description, just right down below. Open it up and follow along with me. Now, I'm currently looking at the product sales worksheet. And here we got a simple little table. It's got a handful of columns, product name, quantity, cost, and total. Now what we'd like to do here is get the total. We just wanna take the quantity, multiply it by the cost to give us the total sale for that product. Now, in the past, I might do something like this. I'll jump into cell E4. I'm gonna bring in the equals because I'm creating a formula. And I want to take the quantity column, C5. Now, I've gotten all the way down to the end of the list where there's data, but I'm going to anticipate that there's more data potentially going to be added to this list. So I'll drag down to like 26. I could drag further, whatever it might be, but I'll stop at 26 for right now. I'll let go of my mouse. There's my quantity column. Then I'm going to multiply that. I'll bring in the asterisk. And I'm going to do the same for the D column. Again, down to the bottom. Again, I'm going to anticipate that more costs are going to be added for new items. So I'll drag down a little bit further and I'll let go. So all I'm doing here is creating the formula to multiply one column by the other to give us a total. Now, again, I'm anticipating that more records might be added to this list. So I've grabbed some empty blank cells down below. It's just getting prepared. I'll hit my enter key. And there's my total, right? We've got our 300, 1608, and so on. But as I keep looking, it's already anticipating that there's going to be more records there because I did that. But I don't really want those to be visible, at least at this moment, because there's no records there. So how do we fix that? Well, in steps the dot operator. So I'm gonna go back to my first formula there, right? Monitor, quantity five, $60 cost, total 300. I'll go to that formula cell, E4, and I'm gonna look up at my formula bar here. I'm gonna zoom in on that. All right, inside of there, we can see we got C4 to C26 times D4 to D26. Now, what I'd like to do is I wanna trim the blank cells, currently no records in there yet, I wanna trim those out. That way we don't get these empty cells here. Once somebody inserts a record, then I want to get those totals. So back to my formula bar. Right before the C26, like literally just right before the C there, I'm going to put in a dot. I want to trim all blank cells within that range. Then I'm going to go to the same thing, D26, right before the D, and I'll put a dot. I'm going to hit my enter key. Still got my total there, but I don't have those empty formulas, those empty returns. Once somebody puts something in here, let's say I've got a uh, another printer. There we go. Printer. We sold six of them. Uh, we'll say $60 for these ones. Then my tab key and the formula's there. So I've already anticipated for it to be there. I just don't see it because we trimmed it utilizing the dot operator within our cell references. Make sure you try this one out. In our next example, we're gonna see how to utilize that dot operator once again, but this time within an Excel function. 
So in this example, I'm currently looking at the unique dropdown worksheet. Got the same list here. I've got the product name, quantity, cost, and total. But what I'd like to do here is I want to get a list of all the unique, uh, unique product names. The monitor, headset, printer, SSD, scanner. Oh, I got a second scanner in there. I don't want to include the second one. I just want the unique ones and create that list here. But once again, I'm going to anticipate that this list is going to grow in size and I need to capture those new unique entries. So I'm going to jump over to cell I4. We'll say equals unique. There it is. Got my unique function, open parentheses. First thing it wants is the array, the data set that I'm going to search for the unique values within. So I'll grab my B4 down to B20. But once again, I'm going to anticipate this list is going to grow. So I'll grab all the way down to 26 or 30 or 50 or whatever it might be. Now, before I hit my enter key, I'm going to click right before the B and B26, and I'm going to bring in the dot. All right. Remember, I don't want to get back the empty cells. I just want to get back the ones that are currently there. If I hit my enter key, there's my list. Now, without the dots, if I take that back out, in my enter key, I've got my unique list, but it's added an extra entry in there. So if I drop down and say I put in a camera, I'll hit my enter key, camera's in there, but I still got that zero. So it's accounting for those empty cells down below. Again, I don't want that. So back to my original, right before that B6, I'll put my dot back in, and I've got my unique list camera. Let's put in another one. And say telephone telephone there it is and the zero is gone so just trimming that empty range in this case at the bottom of the range out of the reference try it out that's it a simple dot to help us trim out those empty cells within our range within our formulas this will help us create more effective data sets and a cleaner version of our data. So make sure you downloaded the file. Again, link in the description down below. Look for the Office Noob blog post and you can find the exercise file there. If you enjoyed the video, I also appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know that you've enjoyed it, you've learned something new. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. So I hope you enjoyed it. Practice it, because that's really where everything's going to sink in for us. Practice it, download the file, and run through the exercises. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.